Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 2600 Pro Turbo video card. What's included with the HIS HD 2600 Pro video card is a quick installation guide, drivers, a DVI to VGA dongle, a DVI to HDMI dongle, as well as a crossfire bridge. The new line of Radeon HD 2000 series cards are available in a number of different models. The 2900 XT, 2900 Pro, 2600 XT, 2600 Pro, 2400 XT, and the 2400 Pro. These are all next generation products, but the 2400 series are entry level cards, the 2600 series are mid range cards, and the 2900 series are high end cards. So, no matter if you're building a modest home theater PC or a hardcore gaming system, the 2000 series have something that will fit your budget. The HIS HD 2600 Pro Turbo PCI Express video card is based on the RV630 chip, which is built on the 65 nanometer manufacturing process and has 390 million transistors. The cooler on this card is quite large and is comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air and forces it across the heat sink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. Now let's have a closer look at the large heatsink. It's all aluminum with many fins and comes in direct contact with the GPU or core, but it doesn't come in contact with the memory. As video card coolers go, this one is excellent and will have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds. If you are overclocking, I would recommend additional case cooling just to be safe. This video card has two DVI connections and a video in connection. Also note that this video card doesn't have a power cable connection like the 2900 series video cards. The core speed on this product is 700 megahertz and the 256 megabytes of GDDR3 128 bit memory interface is 1400 megahertz. It comes with 120 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data. The fill rate is approximately 17 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is approximately 22 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Custom filter anti-aliasing, unified super scalar shader architecture, tessellation, high definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display, and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier.
The 2600 series video cards are middle of the road. They're not going to come anywhere near the performance of the 2900 series video cards, and this is to be expected. So, if you're on a budget, or if you're just building a modest home theater PC, the 2600 series of video cards would be perfect, but if you're a hardcore gamer, they will not be. Go with the 2900 series for that. Overall, though, this card is great. Again, my name is Rodney White. Also, since been another video review, be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. Our high-end cards, so matter, 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 so no matter. Aha! Enjoyable, especially in a high-resolution, real life. I'm trying to say it, but I cannot. However, what this card does give you is the old